guys, what's up? It's me, Destiny, and today's tutorial is going to be about how to get perfect looking skin using a little bit of concealer and a little bit of foundation. This tutorial was based off of Fatima. She is a, a pro MAC artist, and I really love her foundation routine. I think it's really, really intelligent, and it gives you a really nice finish. So I will have the link to her tutorial in the bottom bar. And this is my take on her foundation tutorial using some of my favorite products from Makeup Forever. I use my Makeup Forever 5 color concealer palette and I also use my Makeup Forever um, HD foundation in color 178. So if you would like to learn how to get that perfect looking skin, even if your skin is not so perfect, then stay tuned. Okay, so firstly I want to say you're going to start off with a very cleansed and moisturized face. My face is cleansed and moisturized. And the next step you can do is add a primer. Now I'm going to be using a little bit of a sample that I got from Sephora of their Makeup Forever HD Primer. I have not made the jump to purchase it yet, which I actually will be soon because I really like it. And you're just going to apply your primer anywhere you have pores or areas of you know, imperfection that may give you a bit of trouble. Okay, so after you apply your primer, the first step is to apply kind of almost like a base coat of foundation, a very, very light coat applied with your fingers to kind of just go in and soften and kind of do like a pre-foundation primer. Now, as I said in the beginning of this video, this foundation routine was inspired by Fatima. She is a pro MAC artist and I really loved her. Uh, foundation application routine so I'll be doing the same the same now she used a face and body um, foundation as her base I'm gonna be using makeup forever HD and I'm just going to press it all over my face with my hands very lightly kind of like I said as a base okay you're gonna want to warm it and press it into your skin. You're not looking for much coverage, just something to start your uh, foundation off with. Okay, so now that that's on, now if you have um, very problem skin, you may want to, since I'm already using my Makeup Forever HD and I didn't use a face and body because uh, she used the face and body, but the Makeup Forever HD foundation, their face and body version is so light that I decided just to go ahead with the HD and then from here I'm going to go on to concealer. Now if you used your Makeup Forever face and body or if you used a MAC face and body or whatever kind of light foundation face and body, you can now go on to add your regular foundation and then your concealer. But since I'm going to keep this very light and very natural, I'm just going to go in and maybe add one more coat of the Makeup Forever and then I'm going to go on to my concealer. I have it on the back of my hand and I'm just going to swirl it on the back a bit, warming it up. And then I'm going to just buff it lightly any other places I may need some coverage. But very lightly because now I'm going to go in with light concealer and make it so I don't have to apply so much foundation or concealer. We're going to cut back on both. Okay, now I zoomed you in a bit and I'm going to show you this palette right here. This is my Makeup Forever 5 color palette in number 4. You have the peach concealer, you have like a dark brown color, a highlighter color, a skin tone, and then a neutral color. And what I'm going to do is start out with the paint with the peach color. And I'm going to be using that as my color corrector and I'm going to go in and maybe even mix that with a little bit of my foundation to kind of uh, make it more toward my skin tone. And I'm going to be blending that with a little bit of my foundation. So I'm going to take a little bit of the peach and then I'm going to take a little bit of foundation right next to it on the palette and blend it out. And I'm going to be using this in my under eye area you can see around my mouth my muzzle area and anywhere I have areas of hyperpigmentation I'm going to blend that out with my finger what you can do is take a very warm sponge 
You can take a sponge tip applicator. You can even use a brush and blend it out. So I'm going to go in lightly with my brush and just further blend anything out and even take a little bit onto my brush, a little bit of the peach concealer and a little bit of the uh, foundation, a very light mixture and kind of just come in the area where I have any dull gray or dark brown areas that seem to be missing pigmentation. Like in this area, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's like an area of uh, hyperpigmentation. Something that Fatima did in her video that I loved is she didn't seem to have an orange color corrector with her and she went right ahead and used lipstick and if your lipstick is shimmer free and um, you can use it on your skin type in that particular area then I say go for it. Some of these colors in here may be a little confusing. You may get this palette and think, wow, I don't need all these colors for my face. But they come in as special handy if you are a woman of color, if you are deeper skin or lighter skin. There are quite a few of these palettes that will have all the accompanying um, complementary colors for your skin. Now, this is a color corrector, as I said before. This can be used as contour. This can be used as highlight. This is mostly uh, very close to my skin tone. And this is also a highlighter that's more neutral than cool or warm tone. And these are just great to mix and match and just do a million things with. And I'm just going to show you a few things you can do really quick. So now I have a little bit of a peach on my makeup brush and a little bit of the highlighter and color, which is that color right directly in the center. And I'm just going to bring that under my eyes to highlight. Now we've already covered you know the brown circles but taking this under your eye just as a highlighter is a really good way to highlight your face down your uh, nose and on your chin and even in this area if you want to go beyond you know a light foundation application and you can blend it out with your brush or your fingers Now I'm going to take a wet sponge and blend it out. Now I'm going to take this darker concealer right here and I'm going to kind of use that as a contour. Mm -hmm. 